Hey there guys, Nintendo Free Sound here, welcome back to Let's Play Yoshi's Island. The interesting story about this game, though. Uh, after, shortly after Super Mario World came out, it couldn't have been long, like maybe a year. So it was like 1993, 1992 even. My sister told me that she had seen, like, some kind of special on TV or something about Super Mario World 2. And she told me there was going to be, like, several different colored Yoshis in it, like purple Yoshis and blue Yoshis and all kinds of different colored Yoshis that we've never seen before. I think that was a red coin, so I'm going to start over and try to get that again. Yes. I also love how Yoshi jumps in, he's facing to the right, you're thinking you're going to go to the right. And then at the last second they trip you up and have you go to the left instead. <laughs> I don't think that actually was a red coin. Oh, yeah, it was, actually, so good thing I picked it up. Whew. Okay. Yeah, but when my sister said all that, I didn't believe her, because it was like, this was like 1992, and there was no way they were even thinking about a sequel to Super Mario World at that point in time. But she told me there was going to be a sequel, and it was going to have, you know, all kinds of different colored Yoshis. And, of course, I, like I said, I didn't believe her, and then she turned out to be right. There we go. Always a good idea to check these little nooks and crannies, because you never know when you'll see a, you know, like a hidden invisible question cloud that you can hit with an egg or something. <laughs> like, I think there's one right there. Oh, no, there's not. It doesn't matter, because I don't have an egg to throw at it anyway. There's another flower right there. So yeah, I was pretty astounded when this game did finally come out, and I saw that there was indeed, you know, just every color Yoshi you could imagine in it. I was like, holy crap, she was right all this time. So I don't know if she, if she really did see something on TV, or if maybe they really did have this game planned for that far ahead. Because I know when she said that to me, we were still living on Lewis Circle. And we didn't move out of there until, like, June of 93. So, hmm. Look at these flowers here. Or these stars, I don't know. <laughs> Same difference at this point. Oh, so we're already at 30 on the stars? Good. Better start catching up with the screen here. It is a little easy to lose control of yourself here. And just get moving too fast, and then suddenly, next thing you know... Oh boy. Okay, one thing you can do here, actually... Bam! Just like that. I almost didn't get those, but... Somehow I did. Oops. Huh. <sighs> Yay! So happy! Oh, we didn't get the bonus game this time. That's okay. Those were just a time sink anyway. Okay, starting off so good on this level. Starting off so far so good, I should say. So, I hope everybody's doing alright. By the time this video goes up, I will be one or two days into my vacation at Mom's place. So, future Tim, if you're watching this from there. Or future Mom, if you happen to be hearing any of this. Know that I love you and I can't wait to see you. Shy Guy's on stilts. Like, what the heck, man? Since every single level, there's something different, I tell ya. Shite. Excuse me there, Mario-shi. Yoshi and Mario, the penultimate team. Let's see, which way should I... Let's see, we have a pipe and a door. I think I was supposed to go through the door first. I do believe I was. So... Well, if it turns out to be the case, we'll find that out next time, right? Can't exactly leave the stage. Oh well. Just got little guys carrying lanterns in here. I always like the cave music in this game, it's really good. It's very adventurous sounding. Also very, uh, 
Very nostalgic. It's like some music you just don't remember because it's, there's not that much to really pay attention to. So it doesn't bring back memories in the same way that the... in the same way the old music did. Oh, eh, well. Let's see, which one of these are we gonna... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, notice how Leoshi's Flutter Kick only gives you a little bit of height. However, if you Flutter Kick after hitting an enemy... Shit. Well, I was gonna try to explain that, but I don't know. Basically, if you land on an enemy and you stomp it and then you Flutter Kick up from the stomp, you get a lot more height on the Flutter Kick if you do that. Like, see, for example, see there? Got about three or four times the height. Nope, it's not. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. I got your answer. Two points! Freaking cats climbing up trees. Five times five is twenty-five. Ah, uh, good old Shawshank Redemption. Probably one of the worst lines in the movie, though. It's always fun to go and try to fig figure out, like, pick out the worst lines in really good movies. Not for the sake of criticizing the movie, but still. Even the best movies in the world have their worst lines. Not that I could think of them right off the bat, like, if somebody asked me to name the worst line in Back to the Future, I couldn't tell you. He's a peeping Tom! Maybe that, I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, what do we got here? We got this. Man, now you want to talk about something the controls really awkward? So my sister and I used to literally laugh our asses off at how weird this thing controlled. So I couldn't even explain it to you now how it works. Somehow I just know. As I play it, I kind of just can feel it how it works. Because <laughs> you never know like which way he's gonna turn, and it's like, oh my god. Dude, I was right there. Wait a minute, you're gonna make me do that over? Seriously? Fine, then. I got all the coins in there, I don't even need to go back, really. So, unless there was like a flower that popped up when I finished there. Pound the ground, yeah, I've seen that already. <laughs> I love they have little pictures in for it, though. Illustrations. Just a nice little addition to, uh, to what is already a very heavily detailed game. One thing that's nice about this game that I can't say for, like, the Donkey Kong Country sequels, and I'm not trying to rip on the Donkey Kong Country sequels or anything, but, but a lot of times there were levels that looked extremely cluttered. Like, especially the ones where you had to go up in... Like the vertical levels where you were going from. I don't even know how to describe them. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Gotcha. Is that where I was headed? It doesn't feel right. Huh. It feels like I should have gone up here first. Yeah. So, oh, of course, because this is where you get to learn how to use your eggs to pick up stuff. And of course, maybe, get yourself some stars while you're at it. I don't think I can reach those. <laughs> but again, if you want more stars, what you can try to do... Well, are any more gonna come out? No. I thought they continued to spawn, I guess not. Because I was gonna try to, like, bounce some eggs off of the walls. And hit them and turn them into stars, but I guess not. Did we not see a midpoint in... Yeah, we did see a midpoint in that level. Oh, here we go, here we go. Thanks for the extra stars. Ah, oh, we missed a coin, did we? We sure did. We missed one red coin. Well, ain't that a pisser. How could I have let that happen, I wonder? Oh, yep, so I have to go back and look for that one. Hmm. That's the kind of thing I would be tempted to do, like, in the video. Like, at the end of each video, go back and get what I missed. But at the same time, I don't want to do that. 
because once I finish a world, I feel like I'm done with it. Let's just move on. Even if I didn't get everything. And then what I can do is just, like, in montage form later, I can show everything that I miss as I go back through the levels again. Or just go back through the ones I need to go back through. So yeah, this can get a little... <laughs> Some of these enemies can get a little weird and difficult to predict. Let's just put it that way. I don't say there's something up there, but uh, I couldn't be sure. You really just have to kind of play around, throw your eggs, and see what you get. Huh. Yeah, get some more guys here. Get some more toilet paper while we're at it. There's our midpoints already. Seems a little early for that, but, well... What can I say? I'm not gonna complain. Nah, there's nothing else up here. Who the frick am I kidding? Dude! Oh my god, I thought the piranha plant got me. I'm so glad it was fuzzy instead. The funny thing about this is that even when you're dizzy, you can still throw eggs perfectly normally, you just can't walk. Uh -huh. Man, I remember in the commercials for Yoshi's Island, they showed a little, you know, one of the shots of the game that they showed, the gameplay footage, was this right here. And when I saw it, I remember thinking, oh my god, is the whole level like that? And fortunately, it's not, but... Let's see if we can't get back to normal here. Nope. Alright. If you say so. Let's try not get hit by those again. You can take them out with the eggs if you want. Shit, I'm out of eggs. <laughs> Don't we have some more here? Go back and get the star, man. This coin star. As it were. Let's try to be more careful about getting our coins. Make sure we don't miss any reddies here. Wait. I don't want to miss these Kirby guys here. Just about every enemy that you see in the game will eventually come back as a boss in some form. Okay, I remember the red coins at the end of this level. Like, I had the hardest time finding the last few red coins in this level. It's when I was a kid. I mean, I looked all over this level high and low, and I couldn't find shit. And then one day, I just happened to jump here and found this little thing here that shoots you up into the sky where the other three coins or the other red coins happened to be. And what a relief it was, too to finally be able to say that I had indeed 100%ed the game. Because I'm pretty sure these are the last ones I found in the game. I could be wrong about that. Maybe the little dragonflies just flying back and forth. I'm telling you, man, it's the small details. They're just... They're lovely, man. Of course, the small details won't get you any eggs. I mean, look at you wearing your flower wig. Okay, what was I getting up there? Oh, one of these, okay. Oh, if I'd known it was just those, I would not have even bothered. Of course, I could have looked at my subscreen to see if I had all my flowers. And that would have told me if I needed to go back up. Oh, I don't have all my flowers. Dude, this guy, you just kind of stomp the ground to get rid of his and then hit him in the middle. Otherwise, you can just not fight him at all. There's always that option, too. So we're missing a flower on this stage? Oh my god. Can I go back? No, I can't. Man, how did I miss a flower? That's crazy. I don't miss flowers. Oh well. So happy. You know, I think I forgot to say it at the end of the last stage. So I've already missed a so happy. Too bad. Well, I was missing two red coins anyway. How about that? How about them apples? Flip cards! Alright, yeah, I know. 
let's try right here. I'm not sure what the power block does. So oh, that would be nice to have. <laughs> okay, that's just nothing. That means that you don't you don't win or lose anything there. There, that's what I want. Except how many of these can you actually carry? That's the thing. I'm not sure about that. I already had three items, and I'm about to have, like, you know, five more in addiction to those three. <laughs> Salvo the Slimes Castle. Cool. Castles are so cool in this game. Yeah, so I got eight items in my storage here. I assume a power block just instantly kills everything on the screen. There's more of this great 3D stuff here. And this actually, like, works in the game, too. It's really cool. Oh, no, 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 not over lava. Cannot deal. Uh, yeah, I really hate trying to make small jumps in this game. It's, for some reason, it makes me uncomfortable. If I'm just jumping straight up, that's usually not a big deal, but, ugh. Okay, let's get that on. Make sure we have all the red coins first, and then go from there. Easy schmeasy. Oh, and then there's this level. Oh, what? Or this room, I should say. Got this little water giant here to take you around to the four corners of the room. So we'll make sure and explore all four corners of this room. There's our midpoint right there. I'd rather seen that later, but that's okay. Just don't want to be missing any more stars. Then again, like I said, we got those, those easy refills we can always just go back to. And there's our other flower, so yay. <laughs> they could not make this any easier, boy, let me tell you. There we go. I could have fulfilled my eggs down there, I guess. I may need to stop and start doing that more often. Because if I don't... Shoot, I remember this room. Dude, get over here! I'm supposed to kill you. Well, whatever. Ah, oh, just let him do what he wants. Let him have his fun. So you flip this, and it flips the... green polka dot passages over. Passages. <laughs> platforms over. And likewise, if you hit the red one, but the red one's just not as easy to find, that's all. <laughs> so, we may have to look around here a little bit. There it is. And you can hit it with an egg, obviously. Nope. Just kind of had to do that, because I didn't have an egg to hit it again with. Uh, let's see. There's a flower right there. Yeah. Here we go. Here's an egg restock. It's a more than welcome egg stock, to be sure. I'm just back down here with this guy again. How peculiar. Don't we want to try to get, uh... in there where that other thing is? Here, let me try this. Hit that, and then go back down here. Let's see what's up under here. Ah, this must be the key. The very well-hidden key, as I have said in the past. And that gets us through the door, but we're not quite done yet. <laughs> After all, this is 1-8, the fortress. Fortresses that end in 8 are a little bit harder than the ones that end in 4. Man, oh man. The other thing the other thing about this game that kind of annoys me, though, and it's no fault of the games at all, but the problem is that at this point in my life, I'm starting to really get into music, right? So a lot of times, I listen to CDs at the same time as I played video games, just so I could be doing both at the same time, which means a lot of time I was neglecting the video game music. 
Which is why I don't know a lot of newer music from video games as much as I know the old ones, which is really sad, but, uh... Anyway, even now, when I play this game, I still think about this one stupid-ass CD that I used to play. And you guys are not, like, you guys are gonna totally lose all respect for me when you find out what CD it was. The CD was called, I don't even remember what the title of the album was called, but it was by a group called Take That. Because back then they had that stupid song where he's like, Whatever I said, whatever I did, I didn't mean it. I just want you back for good. Want you back? Want you back? Yes, I want you back for good. Dude. Oh my god, I'm not hitting him. Shit, don't do that. Okay, hang on a second. Let's, uh... Let's make sure we just about got him before we, tre before we test out the possibility of... Oh, it's too late. I didn't think it was going to die that soon. I was going to use the plus ten star, but I didn't think it was going to die that soon. Huh. Whatever. Yeah, so happy. <clears throat> so, yeah. So I was listening to Take That a lot when I played this game back then. And even now, when I play this game, I still think about that dumbass CD. God, that was like one of the... I don't know. That's probably one of the worst CDs I've ever heard, actually, to be honest, so, yeah. I don't know. Because that was the one that got me all obsessed with the whole idea of, you know, artists doing all slow songs, but like one fast song in the middle of it. And for Take That, it was Every Guy was the fast song. The one fast song. You know, out of, amidst a whole bunch of hymns, basically, because they're like Christian rock or something, I guess. Whatever, I'm not going to talk about that anymore, because that's boring and desperate. But anyway, so, oh, they also had the last song on that album, it was called The Day After Tomorrow. So when The Day After Tomorrow, the movie came out, of course, I was reminded of that song again. It's just like, oh, fuck me. Anyway, yeah, can't think of a better way to end this. Either. Bye, and bye.